guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. I look a little weird. I don't look like I normally do. Um, yeah, this is today's look. Uh, this is my anti-Valentine's Day glam video thing. Um, I, I can't take myself seriously right now. Today's video is interesting. I talk about an eyeshadow palette that... <sighs> Is very controversial right now in the beauty community and no I did not use it for my eye look today I could not make it work and I'm just gonna let you guys watch the video be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all of my uploads here in the near future this is my anti Valentine's Day look so that means there is going to be a regular Valentine's Day look sometime soon I'm thinking this is gonna go up like the first of February it is January 28th right now and I'm getting back into filming and getting back into the swing of things I'm going to be doing a life update video. I promise you guys. I told you I was going to do it I'm going to do it. That's not what today's video is, but I hope you guys enjoy and Let me know what you guys are doing for Valentine's Day if you are pro Valentine's Day or you hate Valentine's Day I hate Valentine's Day but I'm a makeup artist, so I also love Valentine's Day because pinks, purples, glitters, all that. But I'm going to stop rambling and let you guys get right on into the video. So we are going to start off with brows today because we're going to do brows and then eyes and then face because I am working with a very colorful palette today and like a very like, I wouldn't say colorful, but like we're doing my eyes first. So we're just going to go in with the nyx tame and frame brow pomade in the shade chocolate now this isn't really my shade but i did start tinting my brows when i was in florida like i started to dye them and i had a mirror and i don't know where it is pause i don't know where my little handheld mirror is so we're just gonna use like the big one today but yes when i was in florida i started to dye my brows we did in school and so like I just use like kind of a light hand when I'm using this product so I don't get too much of it to where it actually looks like this dark. By the way, this is a burn. I was curling my hair the other day and I severely burned myself. Um, it hurts a lot and part of the reason like I don't have it covered right now is because it hurts but I got this shirt uh, when I was in Florida and I was like oh my gosh this is like the perfect shirt for like an anti Valentine's Day look and I this is like on my list of things I needed to get done today so we're just gonna deal with the fact that I have a burn on my shoulder it's fine I've been putting medicine on it I just wanted you guys to know that that is what this is it's not like a birthmark or anything. You guys can't see my birthmark. It's in the middle of my back. And fun fact, I'm like the only one that has a birthmark in my family. Like in my like my siblings. I'm the only one that has a birthmark. We all have like a freckle like right here. Um, or like a mole. Like me, my sister, and my brother all had one. Well, like my sister got hers removed because it was bothering 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 her. And then my little brother has one and I have one. So like, I, I guess that's cool. And I don't even know why I just told you guys that, but I was thinking about my burn and I'm just going to be quiet now, so. Now we're gonna go in and conceal my eyelids. I have very pigmented, I wanna say like pigmented, but it's like hyperpigmented eyelids. And you can see all my veins and like everything. So I'm just taking this LA Girl Concealer and we're just gonna go over it. And I also use this to carve out my brows, so. Okay, for eyeshadow today, one of the palettes I'm going to be using is the James Charles X Morphe palette. Now, it's like really dirty, 
but this is the palette. This is my first time, I guess, filming with the palette. I've used it multiple times, but I haven't actually sat down to film a video with it. So this is what it looks so like. I'm gonna take the white shade in the palette. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna set that concealer. This is a highlighting brush from AOA Studio. It's the F19, but it's like the perfect size to just set everything. So that's what we're going to do. I think what we are going to do is start off with some of these guys. I'm gonna start off with this baby pink. You're really not gonna be able to see it because it is just like a little bit lighter than my skin tone. I'm looking for a brush. I'm in the process of unpacking. Um, you guys will see my, I'm gonna do like a life update video. I, I also should probably explain why I'm doing an anti-Valentine's Day look. I hate Valentine's Day, I always have. And um, I'm doing an anti-Valentine, I thought I was gonna talk about it, but I'm not gonna talk about it. But we're just gonna take this pink shade I think this palette came with like names, but I don't have them anymore if it did, but it's just like the baby pink right here. And I'm, you guys, I don't even think you can see it. I can like get closer, but I don't think you guys can see it. It's just very, very light. And another issue I have with this palette is there's a lot of kick up. And kick up doesn't really bother me, but in some of these shades, it actually really does bother me because I don't know if you guys can see it, but this pink is getting into the black and it's just like very messy. So now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna dip straight into the black and I'm just gonna start packing it all over the lid. I haven't done a smoky eye like this. I don't think I've ever done a smoky eye like this where I'm putting black like all over everywhere. So this is gonna be interesting. I also don't really think I've ever done a look with black lipstick. I think I did and I posted it. And if I did post it, it's like a very, very long time ago and it would be on my Instagram, not on here. Do you see how patchy this is? Okay, I've been sitting here just packing on this shade for probably five minutes now and I cannot get it to stop being patchy. So we're gonna go in with the other shades now and see if I can fix this at all. I'm, this isn't going how I wanted it to. I'm very upset, but it's fine. Now we're going with this deep purple shade and Go into the crease and a little bit above. I, uh, I can't even,
So I look like a hot mess right now, um, but I felt like I had to sit down and talk about what happened with this whole experience and I'm going to get out my phone and I'm going to read you guys like the text I have with my best friend about this because I was genuinely upset and I know that this is going to make the video longer but um whatever so I sent my best friend this photo and you guys just saw me trying to blend it out I just I sent her this and I said, look how patchy this is. She goes, what the F, what happened? And so I sent her two more photos. I sent her one and I had just zoomed in and then I showed her both of my eyes. And she said, what brand is it? And I said, this is the James Charles palette. And she goes, holy F, and then goes, hell no. And a couple minutes later, I texted her and I said, I'm trying to film and I'm genuinely so frustrated, like I'm going to cry. And I said, I've been packing on and blending for 16 minutes now. I'm doing my anti-Valentine's Day video and people kept asking me to review the James Charles palette and I'm trying to and I am embarrassed. And then I think like 10 minutes later, I texted her. Okay, nine minutes later, I texted her again. Like I am sitting here questioning my skills as a makeup artist. I know I'm not the best makeup artist in the history of ever and I know that like I still have a lot to learn but I like to think that I am a pretty good makeup artist and sitting there questioning myself using an eyeshadow palette really hurt and it like really upset me and frustrated me and I have talked to her about this palette three or four times before I filmed this video. And I said, I cannot get this palette to work with me. I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's the palette or what. And now you guys can just see what happens so next. So I had to completely start over. And I reprimed my eyelids. And I like said everything again. I said everything with like just like my face powder. And so now we're going to go in with the Morphe palette that I am used to working with. It's the 12P and I'm just going to be using the black, the purple, and the pink and then we'll go in with my glitter and I, I texted my best friend and I sent her a picture and I was like what happened and she was like what brand is that because she because she knows that I test out like a lot of like indie brands and more affordable brands and I literally told her it was a James Charles palette and she was shocked and I said that I'm like sitting here and I'm questioning like my skills as a makeup artist which is really upsetting because I know I'm not the best makeup artist in the world but I also know that I can get shadows to work with me and I can't I have glitter swatches all over me I, I was telling her that I can get, you know, I can get makeup to work with me. I am somebody who likes to use more drugstore and more affordable brands and, you know, sometimes with those brands you have to sit there and struggle for a while so you can get things to work out and I sat there for probably 20-30 minutes just packing on and blending and then I took it off, I tried again, I couldn't do it, so I took it off for the second time and my eyelids are like burning because I've been like scrubbing to get black off and I'm just, I don't know, um, it's fine. We're gonna go in with this palette and I'm gonna try it a different way. I'm gonna do the pink, purple, and then black, not black and then purple and then pink. I don't really think that was my problem. I. I don't know because this is a Morphe palette and so we're gonna see if I have the same problems with this palette because you know maybe it is just Morphe's formula or if I can get this palette to work then it might just be the James Charles palette. If I can't get it to work I might just be a bad makeup artist. Who knows? So, but like I said I'm gonna start with the pink and I wish I could tell you guys what brush this is. This is like my favorite brush. It doesn't have a name. I have no idea where I got it. I'm pretty sure I got it in Seattle and I'll never know.
So now I'm going to take this NYX glitter glue and I'm going to put it on the center of my lid. I'm trying to decide if I want to use a brush. Yeah. Because we're going to go in with some glitter. And we're gonna go in with this shade. I am really bad with like shade names, but this is number four from my company, Odd Cosmetics. I will link it down below on uh, my Instagram, like the shop page, everything like that for you guys. And then we're also gonna go in with like another one on top to it's like an anti like valentine's day look but i really want to add this shade so we're gonna do just like a little bit of this in the center so we're gonna use the number d105 and you can use beauty by brooke tyler to save some So now I'm just gonna take a clean makeup wipe and get rid of any excess fallout. Um, I definitely think it was a James Charles palette. I didn't really have any problems with this palette. Um, I wanna say that I'm gonna give the James Charles palette another chance, but I have many times already. I've had it since um, probably the beginning of December and I, I just can't, I can't do it anymore. Um, because I just used another Morphe palette and I didn't really have any problems with it. So we're just going to move on and yeah, for primer today, we're going to go in with my elf primer. This is like the hydrating, like lit from within. I think that's what it says. On here I'm having super dry skin at the moment um, also breaking out like crazy because stress and environmental changes and stress I'm gonna say it again stress so my skin kind of needs all the help it can get. And I had a primer spray that I was going to go in with and I can't find it. Uh, this is from UHD. I did this um, in my Shop Miss A tutorial in my last video. Um, and in the video before that, I talked about it in my haul. It's like this really nice primer. It's like a, it's a spray primer. Um... People say that it's a dupe for the Smashbox one. I've never tried the Smashbox one, so can't really say much about it. But now I'm gonna go in with the AOA Studio Glow Baby Drops. I can't even open it. Hang on, pause. Okay, really? There we go. These are like pink pearlescent it's in the shade super glow and I'm just putting this on like the high points of my face I learned this from Jackie Ina she's been doing this a lot on her channel uh, kind of doing like a lit from within type thing under her foundation and I have been loving it and this is also kind of like pinky so it works really well under my foundation and now for foundation I don't know what I want to go in we're gonna go in with the hard candy glamouflage foundation in the shade light I've been liking this foundation a lot I have like three or four shades of it because it's like well one it's really nice coverage and it's really affordable and it's matte without feeling like too dry. Hey, 
so now we're gonna go in with the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer in the shade Light Beige. You guys can see I really love this concealer. Um, I didn't really like it when I got it uh, a couple months ago, and then I found it again the other day, and now I'm obsessed with it. I've been using it every day. And then to contour, we're gonna go in with this, like, this is like a contour stick, but I use it as bronzer, and it's just like really beautiful from Wet n Wild, and we're just gonna go in and blend. And now we are baking with Cody Airspun just under the eyes and the nose. Next for blush, we're gonna go in with the CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones. I don't really know which one this is, but I'm going to mix these two, the lighter one in the middle and then the darkest shade. Now we are going to set the face. And we're gonna dip back into the palette and we are going to take the pink and the purple And then we're gonna tight line and do the waterline with the Maybelline New York Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. And this is just black. I'm gonna go above. And hit the waterline. And then we're gonna do a little bit of lower mascara. And last but not least, we have lips, and my lipstick fell on the floor, so I will be right back. So here is the finished look. I don't really know how I feel about this. Um, I'm not the kind of person that wears black lipstick. I'm not the kind of person that wears dark eyeshadow like this. Um, I really don't ever have my hair up like this, but I'm kind of digging the whole like dark vibe type thing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.